Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm just going to do a quick performance review on the Nike Air Clipper 2017s. So beginning with the fit here, these fit true to size, so whatever size you usually wear should be good for these. So the main issue with these cleats is the heel lockdown because this is a low cut cleat and the flexibility of these cleats is not very good at all. So whenever I flex, uh, my heel kind of just slips out every stride and it got pretty annoying. Moving on to the cushion, it used to say Max Air on the bottom and according to Nike's website, these just have a full length nylon midsole and it's actually pretty stiff and these took a while to break in. It took at least like a month of play like every day to actually start feeling a little bit more comfortable. You could really feel the lack of cushion in these cleats because after long days and double headers, my feet were aching and they would be like very tired the next day and you can just feel it all on your feet. So move, next we have the outsole of the cleat and these have the normal Nike 9 spike configuration, three in the heel and six up front. And these, Lasted. These these are held up pretty well. As you can see, there's a Nike swoosh there, and there's the spikes have not worn down that much, but just a normal wear and tear on it. And then next, we can talk about the upper support of the cleat. So these have a synthetic leather material all around the cleat, and uh, the support on these is pretty good because the synthetic leather material. Starts out pretty stiff, but after a while, when it breaks in, it gets softer and it's pretty nice. I wore them throughout the whole season with some cuts and scratches, but they have held up very well for me. And once it breaks in, it's pretty good and the upper becomes softer. There isn't much breathability in these cleats, even though there are some perforations on the toe box. They're very small, and they don't really go through all the way. And then there's the flywire technology that keeps your foot locked in very well on lateral cuts. And the synthetic material on the upper is sturdy enough to contain your foot from like sudden change of directions. As you can see here too, there's uh, some nice perforations on the tongue for breathability. Overall, these cleats are a decent pair to play in. But the two major problems for me were the lack of cushion and the heel locked down. I wish Nike actually just put an air unit in there instead of just a full length file on midsole because that would have made it a much more comfortable ride and much better experience to play in. So that basically sums it up and thanks for watching.